Yo guys, what is up? This is Sir Lewis and I'm bringing you guys a review slash guide on this launcher called Smart Launcher. And I actually have the pro version as you guys can see here. But uh, the the pro version, there's not that many differences from the pro version to the free version. There's just a few, but I definitely recommend getting the pro version though because if you guys really like widgets, you should get the pro version. But I uh, this, uh, this launcher, I've been having this launcher for about 6 months now. And I definitely recommend it for anybody who uh, just uses their phone for the basics and just uses their phone to text, call, and all that stuff. And let's get to it right here. I'm going to show you guys the interface. Basically here, the pro version, what the free version doesn't have is this at the bottom here. It just, it's a sliding section here, which the homepage doesn't have, where you can add widgets only. <clears throat> um, as you guys can see here, I have uh, two widgets and the free version doesn't have this. So that's a cool little thing right there. And, uh. As you guys can see, the home version. I'm using this in landscape, by the way, but on vertical, uh, I use. I'm mainly using vertical, but I don't want to make vertical videos because on YouTube, vertical videos are just you know annoying to watch. So um, as you guys can see here, uh, you cannot slide on the home page. You cannot slide left and right, and they just uh, the developers just wanted to make this because they wanted to make it really simple for um for users. And this is why I recommend people who are not good with technology to uh, this launcher. It's probably the best launcher for them because it's just, it's really simple and there's no um, going left and right. And um, I really love, if you guys can see here, the icons and how the apps look. It's just amazing how the apps look. You can move them around. You can add more and stuff. So uh, <clears throat> overall, this this um, this launcher is just beautiful. At the right bottom corner here, you guys can see, is basically the drawer. And the drawer is separated by six... Um, categories and the first one is communication so obviously you're texting and and um, stuff like that internet uh, and then there's games media utility settings and it's it's really cool because uh, at the top here you can also search so that shows that you can also search um, for the apps you want and here I'm gonna show you guys the settings the my preferences that I have at least at the top here it says set as default basically just resets it to um to what it was before <clears throat> the global settings basically just um general stuff like uh screen orientation i have mine to auto uh, but you can put it for po portrait only or landscape only and um there's wallpaper mode which is cool because it, it it's scrollable it makes your wallpaper scrollable or rotatable um there's also left hand mode for you guys to access your drawer if, easier if you're left-handed and there's a lot of cooler things here too, like um, for the bubbles, to change the bubbles, visibility mode, and sorting. Uh, you can make the sorting by name or usage. I, use, I have it by name because it's a, it's a lot easier to, to go back and find your apps. And um, <clears throat> now the theme is probably my favorite part here. When you guys get this, it's not going to look like mine where it's a bunch of lines. Uh, when you guys get it, it's going to be in this flower theme. Uh, there's only lines and flowers and I'm gonna show you guys right here how it will look it's gonna look something like this which is actually uh, if you like it it's a neat design if you have if you use at least six apps uh, obviously I have a bunch of apps here so the the icons look a lot small if you have a bunch of apps, uh, at least six apps it's gonna look pretty cool but if you don't like the flower theme um, you can ha you can you can make it like mine and just leave it on lines which looks a lot in my opinion looks a lot better and it lets you add more apps and looks a lot um you know looks a lo it looks fuller and everything but that's one of the things you can add for the theme here you could date the background <clears throat> show dark bar behind the date um there's so many things here. you could change the colors it, it just lets you customize it 100% um now there's a drawer customization and this app is <clears throat> I recommend it for anybody who is just doesn't want a, a really complicated launcher. There's drawer animation. Uh, there's widget support, which is only for the full version. There's gestures. Um, there's one gesture that I use where I double tap the screen and it turns off, which is pretty cool. Um, there's lock screen. You can uh, you can go in the market to find other lock screens that you guys think are cooler, and you could just download them and you know get a, a pretty nice lock screen. <coughs> Excuse me. Is you could back up your theme, your your home, your launcher theme, and you can restore it on the other device. So that's amazing too. You don't want to like redo it. And let me go back here. And basically, yeah, that's it for it.
but this this launcher is really popular i would probably put it in the top five and if you guys search it up it this is the free version and this is the pro version i think the pro version is like uh two dollars or something but i definitely get recommend getting the pro version if you're gonna want widgets um as you guys can see here in the screen the screenshots it, it's in the flower the flower theme but you can put in the lines just like me it's just really simple i recommend it for people you know we're just gonna use your phone to text and call and this this uh this launch is so popular there's people that make themes and styles for it so as you guys can see here there's gonna be a bunch of themes which you can download and uh you just get it right away um what's also cool is a plug in the notification that it it leaves a little notification on how much uh messages or things you got from that app so that's amazing too and it's this this launcher is so popular there's people that make um themes for it so this one right here ubuntu style and they have their own you know icons and wallpaper and stuff like that so <clears throat> this this launcher is never gonna run out of themes that you guys can download on the play store if you like adding new themes and stuff like that and overall guys this is a great launcher for people who are you know just want to use their phone for the basics and i definitely recommend it for you guys um i have been using this launcher for about six months now and it's really light fast and you know it's just everything's in the home page as you guys can see here all my apps that i use the most are on the home page and you can even add more unfortunately there's no folders but uh if you're not going to use a bunch of apps you don't really need folders because the the home page is just big enough that you don't you're not going to need folders yeah guys, hope you guys liked the video and uh, subscribe if you guys want to see more reviews and guides and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.